So you're thinking about moving to Santa Monica in California, but you're not quite sure if it's the neighborhood for you? Well, you've come for the right place. Today I'm going to be showing you the beaches, the neighborhoods, the homes, the shops, the restaurants, talk about the pros and the cons and the schools and basically just give you an insight into Santa Monica to see if it's the right neighborhood for you. All right, I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a realtor here in Los Angeles County. If you're looking to move here in the next nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text. Always happy to help. All right, let's get to the video. Okay, a little bit about Santa Monica. It's bordered by five towns, uh, Mar Vista, Venice, West LA, Brentwood, and the Pacific Palisades. A population of about 93,000. And niche.com, which is a website that I highly recommend if you're looking to move into an area, want to get some more info, voted Santa Monica the number one suburb in California. Not in LA County, the state of California. So niche.com speaks really highly of Santa Monica. And today we're going to see why. It's a really young, hip, trendy crowd. A lot of people like to say they live in, in Santa Monica and you can see why. It's really its own area of Los Angeles. You don't really need to leave. The walkability is great. The bars, the restaurants, the coffee shops. Because of that, house prices are very high. Rentals are very high. Um, we'll be showing you that later. The weather is excellent in Santa Monica. It's a huge plus. It's about 15 degrees cooler, obviously because of the beaches than inland neighborhoods like Burbank, Glendale, Los Feliz, where it can get really hot when you're closer to the mountains. So the weather is a real plus in Santa Monica, over 300 days of sunshine. You're close to LAX Airport, the international airport in Los Angeles, which is a huge plus. Um, traffic, if you're working anywhere not close to Santa Monica, it's a bit of a difficult area. Um, if you work, for example, in Hollywood, downtown LA, anywhere further east than that. Just getting in and out of Santa Monica can be a real nightmare. Um, if you work in Beverly Hills, fine. Manhattan Beach, El Segundo, not too bad. But if, you're in Redo if you work in Redondo Beach, down in South Bay, Long Beach, um, anywhere more than really 15 miles from Santa Monica, the traffic can be really horrendous and I definitely wouldn't recommend living here if you had to commute five days a week to work. There's definitely a homeless issue now in Santa Monica. If you ask the locals, it's getting worse and worse. Is it as bad as Venice? No. Is it as bad as downtown LA? No. Um, but it is a lot worse than five years ago. Um, it's a huge grumble of the local residents. They're paying these high taxes, these high property prices and there is a lot of homeless people all right let's go take a look at santa monica pier then we'll look at the farmers market the promenade um, to see all the shops and restaurants and then we'll go to some neighborhoods in santa monica look at the houses the condos and kind of what they cost you to buy and rent here we are at the santa monica pier obviously if you're coming to the pier you probably have friends in town family in town not sure really if it's a place where the locals frequent all the time but yeah if you've got friends or family you're never really going to get bored living in Santa Monica if you do have kids this is a great place to bring them for an afternoon keep them entertained they're gonna absolutely love it also if you're not a fan of living in a neighborhood where there's just an influx of tourists especially in the summer Santa Monica is probably not for you if you're an outdoorsy person, Santa Monica really very hard to beat. You've got the outdoor gyms, you've got the bike trails, you can skateboard, you can rollerblade, you can go surfing in the ocean. It really has you covered. Um, no point moving to Santa Monica if you don't like the beaches, obviously. You're paying a premium to live here because of these world class beaches. So you have to be a beach lover. Um, but it's hard not to love this, right? Okay, let's head to the Third Street Promenade, take a look at the shops, the bars, the restaurants, the walkability of this city. So here's one of the farmer's markets they have in Santa Monica on Saturday. There's a real good community vibe here. Very friendly. People are generally 
well spoken, nice, good people. Um, education, like I said, is very good here. Uh, I feel like the class of person that lives here is pretty high echelon. Laid back because it's the beach, but definitely have a little bit of money. Um, and yes, there's homeless people, but I do feel very safe in Santa Monica. Well, here we are, Third Street Promenade. A lot of hustle and bustle, a lot of people out singing. Uh, musicians, you've got the shops, you've got the um, cinema. It's a great place for kids or teenagers to hang out with their friends as well. Lots to do, coffee shops. Um, you could really put them here for a couple of hours and they'll definitely keep themselves entertained. It's just a really nice, really nice area. It's clean. It is hot. It's September and uh, it's about 85 degrees. I'm probably glistening on here. Um, but yeah, if you like this video so far, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on the neighborhoods in LA County. All right, I'm gonna stop and get a cold drink and then we're gonna head off to the neighborhoods, see the houses and uh, I'll show you so you uh, know what it looks like, house prices and that way you can make your mind up if you like Santa Monica or not. I'm just having a bit of lunch and I'm watching people go by. So many people on their bikes and these electric scooters. Great thing about Santa Monica, if you work in Santa Monica, you don't really need a car. Parking is not the best, though there are parking structures. But one of the great thing about Santa Monica is you don't really need a car, which is a huge bonus. Most neighborhoods in Los Angeles County, you 100% need a car. Maybe not West Hollywood, um, pretty much anywhere else, maybe not Venice. Um, so it's a huge plus, Santa Monica, not needing a car, um, save a lot of money. I've decided to go to a different neighborhood in Santa Monica. All these homes are three, four, five million dollars, six million dollars. So I want to go to a neighborhood where you can buy homes for, it sounds crazy, but for two to three million. Um, we're, what, 11 blocks from the beach here and the homes are just too expensive. Even these homes that we're looking at right now, four million dollars, three million dollars. So. Um, Heading to another neighborhood, slightly cheaper homes. As you can see, a lot of condos, townhomes in Santa Monica. It's not just your single family homes, plenty of places to rent. Okay, I've got my glasses on. I think I was squinting before. Um, I brought you to Pico and 23rd instead. That last neighborhood, I could have walked through and showed you the nice neighborhoods, the nice homes. But you're looking at four to twenty million dollars for those homes and yes i'm sure there's some people looking but i think the majority of people are probably looking um two to three million dollars which is sounds crazy but for a three bed two bath in santa monica two million 2.5 million is really entry point um so here's um 23rd and pico as you can see we've got another another farmer's market um, Santa Monica is really known for its great communities. Um, we just passed Santa Monica School, the colleges in Santa Monica. There's a lot of great education. Families really move here for the schools. As you probably know, usually where there's money, there's a good school district and Santa Monica is, uh, is known for that. Play basketball. They got you covered here. Um, all right, let's go take a look at these homes. There was one on the market, so let's go find it. I think it was for 2.4 million. So let's go see what 2.4 million dollars can get you in Santa Monica. Okay, so here we are. This home here, you can see that. It's a three bed, it just sold. Three bed, three bath. I'll put it up on the screen. 2,300 square foot. No, sorry, 2,000 square foot. 6,700 square foot lot sold for $2.3 million. Um, I looked at the photos on the inside. As you can see, nothing special needs updates. And this is in a neighborhood that is um, reasonable. And that's $2.3 million. So you can see entry level, look at this beautiful home. Entry level homes in Santa Monica, 23 blocks from the beach you're looking at 2.3 million dollars for three bed three bath 2,000 square foot 
Santa Monica is one of the most expensive places in LA County to live. So be aware of that. As you can see where we just came from, homes were 4 million all the way up to 20 million. Here's another home on the market, just a, about five doors down from the last one. Also three bed, three bath, um, 2,000 square foot, 2.4 million. Insane. I just take a look at the photos. It needs updating. I'll put the photos on here for you. So once again, these homes here are going for 2.4 million, 2.3 million. And that's if they're not done up. That one across the road looks like it's been flipped. Probably went for a lot more. So be warned. Um, obviously though, this is a beautiful street, tree lined. Once again, like almost every neighborhood in California, the homes are all different. There's, no, there's never a cookie cutter burb where all the homes are exactly the same. And that's what I love about the architecture here in California and specifically LA County. Um, all homes are different and that's kind of what you want, you know? You're, you're not quite sure what you're gonna get when you walk into them. And just to show you how different the architecture can be, look, there's four houses right here. Look at this one. So you've got this one, the next door neighbor, <laughs> completely different. And then over the road, You've got the Spanish vibe, beautiful. And then you've got the modern and trendy. So four homes right next to each other. And look at that tree. <laughs> it's just such a nice vibe. The curb appeal is incredible. You've got the gardeners out looking after everything. People take a lot of pride in their homes. Um, and then, yeah, look at this. You've got a cool, cottage vibe and then next to it you've got super trendy so no matter what type of house you're looking for Santa Monica has you covered as long as your budget is between 2.5 and 20 million <laughs> we got gotcha. you the lots are, are bigger here six seven thousand square foot if you go down to the South Bay you're lucky to get a three thousand square foot lot if you buy the water um, so the lots are nice, you can enjoy the outdoor area, the California living, which is harder to do the closer you get to the beach, obviously land gets more expensive. Um, but the pros and cons really of Santa Monica, the cons, it's expensive, homelessness is growing, the tourists, there's a lot of tourists if you're not into that, traffic, getting in and out of Santa Monica can be a nightmare, almost worse than anywhere else probably in in LA County if you ask me the pros of Santa Monica if you like outdoor lifestyle which why wouldn't you Santa Monica has you covered you've got the beaches the parks it's it's really hard to be healthy as well you've got all the diets all the juice bars foods the schools if you're looking um, to come here with a family an excellent real community vibe um, obviously the architecture, the streets are beautiful. I find it very safe walking around here. Um, it's just a great place to live. You're close to LAX um, and uh, you could do a lot worse. So um, if you are looking to move here or you've got any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text. Happy to help. Get emails from people like you all the time. So uh, I know I can help you. And uh, please like and subscribe if you're looking to watch more videos on uh, neighborhoods in LA County. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.